this video, I am going to audit someone's account that has 8,000 subscribers on YouTube, but is not monetized. I came across this person on Threads. She didn't know why, and I immediately just perked up and was like, this is interesting, I wanna audit this account. Now you may ask yourself, why this person that has very few subscribers and isn't monetized herself would be auditing someone else's account? Well, I'm a troubleshooter at heart. My nine to five is, uh, I'm, I'm in IT, so I look at things that are not working to try to figure out how to make them work. And I hope in the process of this to provide Sean with some valuable insight into her account so that she can monetize. So it's already done the work of getting these 8,000 subscribers, so why not try to monetize and, and get going with that? Okay, so let's dive into Sean's account. So here is Sean Wilson's channel. And right off the bat, I can see that her banner right here is just not fitting. It looks like she probably used a banner that is viewable on TV. I'm gonna go over to my account so you can see that you can see my whole banner here without anything being cut off. And I would suggest that Sean kind of re-optimize where her banner is fitting so that this isn't cut off for people that are on desktops. So in order to do that, um, she can go here to customize channel and then click change and then upload that new banner. And I've had to do this like several times. Like if, if you made the banner in Canva or whatever, I've had to like kind of like make micro tweaks in order to get it in this little box. But um, so I would upload the new banner and then you can kind of see where it is fitting. So she probably did viewable on TV where, you know, that's how it's gonna look on the TV, but because it's cut off, we're not seeing it on all devices. You can do viewable by de on desktop. Uh, I would recommend, because Kai, this is what I did, is um, viewable on all devices. That means it's gonna look good on TVs, it's gonna look good on desktop computers, it's gonna look on tap good on tablets, on phones, whatever. Make sure that you have like your meat and potatoes of your, your stuff right here in this box, and then you can have other stuff kind of out here if you want to, but make sure that it's not looking cut off like this. So Sean Wilson here, mompreneur here, uh, Sean Wilson here, Sean the mom in the username. So it's kind of repeating, you know, the name Sean, which is totally fine, nothing wrong with that. I do the same with mine, 261 videos. You know, that sounds like a decent amount of videos um, for how many subscribers that she has. So she probably has a few videos that hit big, right? Welcome to Sean Wilson's official YouTube channel. So I just like just looking at this right here, I can't really tell what Sean's content is going to be about. I mean, I can tell she's a mom. She's a mompreneur. Um, I can tell what her name is, but really, other than that, I don't know as a viewer what I'm getting from viewing Sean's content. So back here on this description, I could click more and see that she's her channel is going to be about family, fashion, finance, and food food, which just sounds amazing, right? But I would like to see her bring more of that here in the banner and right here in the description of the channel before it, somebody has to click more. It's just a suggestion. And then scrolling down this part right here where it says Channelytics, this is coming from the YouTube Chrome extension that I have installed. This just tells me, you know, how many views, lifetime, and how many videos the channel has. And I can see that there's only been three videos upload in the past 30 days. And then down here where it says channel keywords, she has none. So I'm actually going to show on my channel where I've got a bunch of keywords in here and where you can change that. YouTube studio. And then over here on the bottom left where it says settings and under channel, you're going to want to change you're gonna add the keywords right here. Okay, so back on Sean's channel, I'm gonna to go to the videos, and this is where I see that Sean really doesn't have that many long form content videos. So this might be part of the problem if Sean is trying to monetize using the 4,000 watch hours versus the 10,000 shorts uh, views, so per, for, for 90 days. So she doesn't have that many long form videos. And then if you also look, they're very short. So minute 29, minute 31, minute 28, 544, 16 seconds, 344, and 20 seconds. So, so long form content really is non-existent on Shauna's account. Um, and then the ones that are on here, I don't know that the thumbnails are that great. I mean, I, I hate to pick people apart, I really, but I'm trying to help. 
<laughs> I'm trying to help Sean. So if you're watching this, I apologize. But when you want to have someone click on your video and watch it, you want to pay attention to the design of your thumbnail and make it eye catching. This one over here, that the self care one, the one over here, all the way to the right, this one actually isn't, you know, terrible. I think this one is eye catching. I think the, the fonts easy to read. You've got some, you know, words down here in the title that might make somebody want to watch the video. But this one right here, this first one is really, really busy. There's a lot of words on the screen. You've got screenshots on top of that looks like your lock screen on your, your phone. So it's just, it's just a lot of layers of different texts and it's hard to read. And I'm not sure with that, the, the title of the, the video really does it justice of, of telling me what it's about. So just clicking and watching the video. Let me go back to the beginning as I did start watching it. It's basically, It's, it's, it's an okay video. You know, it's, it's in the nine by 16 format on the 16 by nine, which is not horrible. Don't get me wrong on that, but I, I don't understand as a viewer watching this video, what I'm getting out of it are, is Sean a celebrity? I think vlogs and day in the life, these kind of things work really well. If someone's a celebrity or if they already have a large following that that they're known for something and their, their followers want to get more information about them on a personal level. So like say, for example, someone posts a lot of fashion stuff. So they've got a lot of followers from all of their fashion content. And then now their followers are invested in them as a person and they would be willing to watch the behind the scenes, the day in the life, the vlogs of the person that they are already following for the excellent fashion advice and, and stuff like that. So that would be my comments on these kind of videos is try to, and this is totally to myself as well, because I have the same exact problem. Switch it to what is the viewer getting out of the video. And if you just want to upload content for yourself, for your family, for your friends, whatever, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but if the goal is for monetization, you have to change the strategy. At least that's my opinion. Again, you have to change the strategy to be more about the viewer and less about you as a person. So shorts is probably where all of those videos are, right? The 261, well, 250, whatever, um, videos is, is going to be all in shorts. So, um, just kind of looking over Sean's shorts. She's got a lot of great eye catching vibrant colors, a lot of good lighting. The lighting on the videos is amazing. Um, going up here and clicking on, instead of latest, clicking on popular, I can see that the number one video right here is this uh, Dollar Tree hack, uh, the Swiffer thing for 1 million views. So this video, then you've got, you know, all these other videos, nine, you know, you've got some great views on these videos. And I think you'll notice a difference between the videos where you're getting a lot of views versus, you know, maybe some of these ones way down here of why, uh, POV, my son turned seven. Happy birthday. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. Kids are cute. Your kids, your kids are adorable, but like, what am I getting out of this? You know, as, as a viewer, I've been to a bunch of kids birthday parties. Why is this birthday party special to me? Again, this is your channel. You can post whatever you like. I'm just stating from the point of monetization. What is it in for the viewer? So conversely, let's watch this 1 million video and see why this one got a million views. So this is an informational video. This is, this is Sean giving information to the viewer. So this is like a, this is a hack. This is, I mean, let me go all the way back to the beginning. So she's got eye catching visual on the screen, Dollar Tree, uh, Swiffer hack. 
And then down here in the title of the video, the best hack ever, run to the Dollar Tree. So she's giving information to the viewer like, hey, look what I found. This is pretty amazing. And then she also later in the video is demonstrating how to use it. So people love this kind of stuff. They love hacks. They love these kind of videos. I noticed that there was uh, some other videos on the channel cooking videos. There was one on here. I was like, that looks delicious. Um, 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 um where was it? It was like a potato. Um, gosh, I can't find it now. Of course. Well, all of these foods ones look delicious. Like baked Mac. Look at this. a really short video but you've got practicing for thanksgiving so we know what she's doing she's got this just visual you know <laughs> visual hook of this yummy looking food she put down here you know what's your baked mac what it is and all that stuff she's got a nice song in the background a lot of these these cooking ones are just really awesome So this video was awesome because you get the sound, the ASMR, right? Of the, of the wings frying. And then like kind of halfway through this, it's a rather short video. It's only seven seconds long, but at about three and a half to four, she's got a, a little text on screen that kind of pops up and surprises you and said, check the comments for a secret ingredient. So, um, I'm hope I didn't see a comment actually for what the secret ingredient is. Oh, mustard right here, right here mustard. She put it in the title. So, you know, this is a wonderful example of, of why this video did so well. So that is my audit of Sean's account and why she's probably not monetized is because she has invested heavily in to uploading shorts, which is totally fine, but hitting those 10 million views within the last 90 days is going to be tough unless she really starts cranking out the content and really focusing it like I said, on those things that people want to see. They want to see the hacks, the mom hacks, the uh, dinner hacks, the, you know, the ones where the ASMR, with the food cooking. Only these last three shorts have been uploaded in the last 30 days. That's a not enough. If you're trying to get monetized on 10 million views in 90 days, you need to be posting at least one short a day, at least. I would probably say more like five to six shorts per day. And they've all got to be these hard hitting meals, life hack, mom, you know, mom, relatable mom content. Um, I mean, she's got it. She has got it here. She just needs to go through her own content. Like I've been going through it and double down on the stuff that works. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with posting the things that she's proud of with her kids. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but there needs to be more of the stuff that is for your audience. She probably needs to decide whether she's going to chase monetization through the shorts route or through the long form content route, because it seems like she's going the shorts route. She's just not posting enough content like the one that got 1 million views. If she were to double down, triple down, whatever, and just start cranking out the shorts, that are like that video, she probably could get monetized very, very quickly if she could figure out that formula. Like I said, the text on the screen that had the keywords that was eye-catching, the title of her video that had more keywords, the words hacks, you know, people love things that say hacks, you know, mom hacks, stuff like that. They love that kind of stuff. The other thing that she might wanna consider doing is more long form content and make her long form content longer. As a busy mom, I don't know if she has the time to do that, but you know that, that would be another route to go instead of the shorts route where you need 10 million, the long form content where you only need 4,000 watch hours. That might be more obtainable. That's what I'm going for myself because I think the shorts route is, is just much harder unless you have those quick hitting videos that get a lot of eyeballs because 90, 90 days to get 10 million views, I think is pretty hard to achieve at least for a new person. I, I don't know. So that's it for this video. I hope that this was helpful to you. It was definitely helpful for me to look at Sean's account and try to figure out, you know, what improvements could be had. So I made a bunch of notes for myself. If you like videos like this, I am going to seek out more people that have not been monetized and try to help them. So actually, if you have a channel that's not monetized and you would like me to audit your channel, put it down in the description and I'll go and take a look at your channel and possibly do a video. I don't know how many people are going to do that. 
I don't know how much time I'm going to have to be able to do, you know, all of the recordings of all of those videos, but, but put that down in the comments and I'll take a look and, and pick some of those to do audit videos on. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. The subscribe button is also down there. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.